Being controlling and entitled, narcissists have no difficulty stepping all over your personal boundaries, which is why I've put together the comprehensive course, This Is Me. It consists of 25 videos, each with accompanying documents and guided questions. I'm going to teach you how to maintain proper boundaries despite their efforts to the contrary. There's a link below, and I hope you'll find it therapeutic. Throughout my years as a therapist, obviously whenever I would be working with someone, I would be assessing their capacity for change and adjustment. And of course, I would want to know that this is somebody who's sitting in front of me who has the sufficient amount of insight and curiosity about who they are so that as we're trying to figure out how they're making sense of their world, then they can look inwardly and figure out how can I be a different person given what I've experienced. Uh, every one of us can look back and say there are some things historically that I wish had been better. You may have some current circumstances you'll say the same thing about. And rather than saying, well, what did, did all those people do wrong, which, which there's a, a, a place for that, these individuals who have good insight uh, will say, well, why do I respond in the ways that I do? And what kind of patterns have uh, come to the inside of me that have been not so good for me? How can I make some adjustments from the inside out? And whenever I would work with individuals like that, I knew that we would make really good progress. Now, there are two elements inside a narcissist that set up all the wrong ingredients when uh, we're looking for change. You, you'll notice, of course, that when you're engaging with narcissists, long term, the relationship is not going to succeed. Uh, there, like I say, there are two elements that uh, set up the collapse of relationship with the narcissist. One is they don't have psychological insight. Uh, you'll notice that narcissists are highly invested in figuring out what's going on out there only. You know, what did my mother do or father do or uh, other people in my life uh, in my past, uh, an ex or someone like that? What did they do out there that made my life miserable? And they don't go any further than that. Uh, rather than saying, therefore, how did I respond? They don't go to that place. They don't have good insight. It's all outwardly looking. And by the way, that sets up their victimization mode big time. Uh, they're constantly saying, you're responsible for my problems. Therefore, we get, need to make you uh, change and you have to be fixed. And then the second ingredient that goes along right along with this is that they have an addiction to their own sense of certainty. Without insight and constantly looking for people out there to uh, to solve their problems, they uh, lock in with the notion that says, I'm okay. I'm the good guy in all of this. Therefore, uh, I have to be right and I got to get you on my team. And so they bring all sorts of notions about their own uh, infallibility. They bring notions about their own entitlement into the equation. It's like, it can't possibly be me that's wrong. The only thing that's wrong with me is I react to your garbage. And as a result, they're constantly looking for ways to prove that they're the superior one in the equation, which of course puts you in the not so superior position. And as a result, it sets up all sorts of other characteristics that go into the collapse of relationships. Having these two characteristics, one, a lack of insight, two, an addiction to their own certainty, then it, it sets them up to be very self-righteous in the way that they engage with you. <laughs> you know, in other words, no one in the world is, is, is as on target as me in the way that I look at things. Uh, it sets them up. I mentioned you use the word entitlement and sets them up to have an attitude of entitlement. I really should be given special treatment. After all, look at how I've had to suffer because of you slobs out there. Uh, in addition, uh, you'll, you'll notice that uh, in their lack of insight and their need for correctness, they uh, will bring an almost instantaneous sense of invalidation whenever you have a separate thought or idea that you want to express toward them. They think you're coming against them. Uh, and likewise, they have no appreciation for nuance with that need for certainty when you come along and say, well, there's some different elements here that we need to look at, 
or there's some parts of the history that we need to examine that are rather unusual. It's like, I don't want to listen to it. I just want everything to be exactly as I say. In addition, they uh, this sets them up to be highly demanding with low insight, with high need for certainty. Of course, you can see uh, that they're thinking, if I can make you out there change, then I'm going to be okay. So they're, one of their favorite uh, fra phrases is, do what I tell you to do. Uh, likewise, it sets them up to have lots of expectations, which is a nice way of saying they're emotionally needy. Uh, they require you to do all sorts of things to prop them up. Your, uh, your role is to be their narcissistic supply. And as a result of all of this, the false self is constantly in charge. Uh, with a lack of insight, they can't look inwardly. Uh, they lie to themselves constantly about who they are, about who you are, and they, they just simply cannot be honest, even as they insist that they have to be certain and they have to be the ultimate, uh, the, the final authority or whatever it is that's going on. Now, as a result of all of this, you can see that it's going to set you up, unless you're aware of this, for all sorts of uh, reactions that are not going to take you into a good place. And of course, that's part of the collapse of the relationship. Uh, first and foremost, like I say, with them having no insight and yet constantly certain, somebody then in the equation has to be in the wrong position, and that's where you come in. So you're constantly going to be uh, considered to be an adversary. There's something defective about you, and anything that you say or do that's just a little bit different in their mind is proof that you really are a troubled person. Uh, it's like wrong just follows you around kind of like that cloud over that cartoon character that you can't get away from. In addition, then, uh, you're going to find that as you try to talk with that narcissistic person about what could be done to enhance the relationship, you're, you're going to find that you're going to be running into a brick wall. They're not teachable and you're going to feel exasperated because common sense is something that you want to bring to the equation, but it's not something that's going to be appreciated or shared by that narcissistic person. In addition, as you engage with an individual with these ingredients that I'm mentioning, you're going to run into a lot of stubbornness. And unfortunately, sometimes their stubbornness can begat your stubbornness. And before you know it, it, it turns into a, uh, a match of, of wills and it's not going to go well for you. And then you begin starting in your own mind, you begin feeling emotionally off base. Well, maybe there is something wrong with me because you carry around so much tension and frustration. And of course, the narcissist is going to jump all over that. It's like, see, uh, you're over there frustrated and tense and anxious. There really is something wrong with you and you need to change so that I can feel good. And that's, uh, that just plays right into it. They're constantly going to be a jerk toward you. And in fact, their jerk behavior just increases. And in their arrogance, uh, the, the, uh, ingredient of love or the ingredient of respect or dignity does not have a chance to grow and to take root. Uh, it's stepped on constantly. So in the end, the narcissist walks away declaring themselves to be an innocent victim and you are stupid. <laughs> and so uh, you want to remember that they're starting with a, uh, a lack of insight regarding human nature about themselves, about you, and they're starting with that need for certainty, and this is the net result. And it's no wonder then that relationships fall apart. Now, as you begin to recognize this pattern, uh, there, there are certain do's and don'ts that you want to uh, latch on to, and, and the first one is uh, don't let the narcissist so get inside your head that you find yourself uh, reacting constantly to them. Uh, keep in mind that narcissists simply don't grasp truth. That's part of that lack of insight. And in their need for certainty, they're, they're so willing to twist their logic in so many different ways to fit their narrative that hardly anything is going to break through. So that being the case, don't try to make it your job to get them to see the light or to get them to understand their role in whatever strains or stresses they're complaining about. And then in addition to that, one of the things I'm hoping that you can walk away with in your mind is 
Um, I'm not going to allow myself to mirror that narcissist inappropriate behavior. These are not good role models, and I'm not going to model uh, uh, myself off of that person. I'm not going to allow them to set uh, my pace. And uh, that being the case, rather than just speaking my differences to the narcissist, which they're not going to understand, what I'm going to do is I'm going to live into my differences. In other words, uh, I can go ahead and establish boundaries and be what I need to be and then live out and, and establish my initiatives, consequences, stipulations, boundaries. And then when the narcissist comes along and says, I don't agree with that, it's like, yeah, I know you don't. You don't have insight and you have a need for certainty and I don't fit your paradigm, but I'm going to be what I'm going to be anyway. And that being the case, I'm hoping that you can derive enjoyment and a good connection from people who actually do know how to manage relationships. Now, going back when I said I, I would love it when I would talk to people who had insight, I, I really did appreciate it when someone might say, you know, I did, you know, act inappropriately here and I want to change. I want to make some adjustments or I do need to uh, do A more and B less. And, and so when people would come in and say, I'm, I'm in a constant growth mode and that's what we do here on Team Healthy. I, I just want to know how I can be a part of the uh, the movement forward. We can make that happen. Narcissists, because they're constantly um, going in the opposite direction with that, uh, will uh, work against the building of healthy relationships. And so I'm hoping that you can come to terms with the fact that you are dealing with a low insight, high certainty person. That's a terrible combination. But in doing so, uh, what this means is if you're going to continue in any form of a relationship with that individual, it's going to be shallow at best. And I hope that in, in your mind, you can think, okay, mentally, I'm prepared for that to be the case. I'm going to be working on my end of the equation. And if it means that the relationship is not going to go anywhere good with that person, so be it. Like I say, I can't let that person establish my pace. And I do hope that videos such as this can give you some good things to think about and a good awareness of what you're dealing with. If you've not already hit the subscribe button, I would encourage you to do so. Hit the like button too. That helps us. If you have a need for therapy, and I know that many times when you're dealing with somebody of this nature and you know that the relationship is on its way towards some form of collapse, it's good to have somebody that can help you sift that out. Uh, I'm so pleased that we're sponsored by the people at BetterHelp.com. It's an online therapy service. We have a link below our video here that will take you directly to that. And I would strongly encourage you to get the help that you need and get some objectivity regarding this if that's uh, the need that you have. In addition, I have my online courses and they're very extensive. They'll take a lot of work and uh, each course has multiple videos with written material that goes along with it and guided questions. Uh, and when I say a, a class, it's, it's a, you know, 25 videos. So it's going to take some time for you, but it's something that can be an exercise for you uh, in your own personal growth. We have uh, Ready, Set, Connect, good, good connection skills. This is me about your boundaries, free to be, finding yourself despite the controllers. And uh, in addition, we have my webinars. We have our website that has many uh, articles on there. We have our podcasts and my books, lots of resources. And I, I, I really do appreciate it when you allow me to be a part of your journey with you. Okay, those two ingredients, a lack of uh, psychological insight, a need for certainty, that's a rotten combination. And I hope you can see it for what it's worth and, and know what you're dealing with. And in doing so, I hope that you can say, well, I am going to ex exercise good insight. I'm going to look inwardly. And I, rather than having certainty, I want to have curiosity. And I always want to be in a growth mode. And in doing so, I hope it sets you up to be a person of DRC, dignity, respect, and civility. And in the end, I'm hoping it allows you to find your place of peace.